Welcome back to the channel, guys. We have just got dropped off at the Vikings Luxury Buffet. I am so excited. Basically, this buffet, it's an all you can eat, and we're not really sure what the price is just yet, because the price is kind of, I've seen online, they've changed a bit, and I think lunch might be different from a dinner. We're here for lunch. And if you guys have been following us for a while, you know Chase and I can eat. So we are going in, you guys. I am, I am so ready. And I don't know where we... It looks like everyone's waiting. We go in. Oh, they're it waiting. Probably, okay. It probably opens at 11. Yeah, so we have a reservation, so I'm not sure. I guess we can ask this lady. Okay. And it's on your phone. Hello. Hi, Paul. Good morning, Paul. So we have a reservation. And there's a Yeah. Chase. Yeah. So you're the first person. Yeah. We'll call you number 10 by 11 a.m. 11 a.m. Paul. Okay, perfect. We should have asked her. We requested a window seat. I wonder if like I should go double check with her and just ask. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we're just gonna sit here and steam up the windows. Look at that, you guys. Hey, we can like kind of scope out. Okay, that salad bar, that's the station you don't okay, go yeah, to. Okay, yeah, we gotta run in there and we'll just be running in there like, all right, we're first. No, there's probably gonna be like so much food. So I just saw the rate chart and it's looking like 9.88 pesos for all you can eat, which is insane to me because in the Western country, Canada, uh, like I've seen even in like Vegas, the States, buffets go upwards of like, I mean the most luxury one would probably be like 100 to 200 dollars. So that's pretty dang good. We will be calling for a event. guest week reservation then followed by the walk-in guest. What is your name as early as this morning? Calling for reservation number one for Gitchell. Once again, reservation number We're one. We're number 10 guys. We're number 10. Christopher. What did they start with? I didn't even hear that. Number one. Okay, jeez. I didn't know if it was going to be random. But no, we're doing that. That's actually pretty good. Here, we're going to see Awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. It smells so good in here. <laughs> I literally just saw a table filled with tempura prawns already. Look at this table. They uh, love tempura prawns, I guess. We're gonna go find the lechon. <laughs> okay, we got desserts over here. Wow, guys. <laughs> There's a chocolate fondue fountain that you can put like candy and stuff in. All right. Look at these food shots, guys. Beautiful. Yeah, this is a spot to be. Hello. Very good. How are you? This looks very delicious. Oh my goodness. Wow, okay. Let's get some of that, sweetie. Look at that. Stuffed with adobo rice. I guess I could just dish up for both of us. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Less rice, more meat. There's just so many things I don't even know yeah. what to get. Let's uh, get some of these things. Sausage? Yeah. Wow. Already I'm like, yeah. okay, yep, luxury, yep, yep. <laughs> I've never seen a buffet like this in my life. Yeah, it's a little overwhelming. Oh, oh man. Sausages. Hello. Can we get one of this, one of this, and one of the chicken? Thank you so much. I'm gonna have it, yeah. I gotta be able to tell everyone how the chicken tastes. I wouldn't be getting the chicken. Look at him, so he cuts up all the meats there and he's sizzling them up right there. Oh my goodness. We got a little bit of pepper sauce? Pepper sauce would be fine and dandy, yeah. Do it on the side there. <laughs> what else do we got? Yeah, that's a good one, that's a good one. Pardon? Medium rare? Yeah. Rare, rare, medium rare. Oh boy, we get it cooked specially for us. I'm so, I'm like, I don't want to run into the seat. Oh, it's heavy. No. Oh. Oh, that looks amazing. Look at that. Okay, that's beef and that's lamb. Oh, and this wow. Is the chicken. Okay, give us a nice little. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, let's go. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> they got. They got popcorn. I didn't find the seafood. This place is too big. So we got fish, curry, some more Japanese influence. Oh, very nice. Oh, the temperature is out already. Well, I seriously, you guys roll back the tape and look at that one oh, table. He's I making think fresh. He's making oh. fresh. Oh yeah, we got fresh. What are these ones? We can just 
try a couple. Yeah, let's get some of these. Get the. How many do you want? Like three? Uh, add another one or two in there. I feel like I want some well, of those. This looks like a plant. And well, I'm not sure. this looks like fish. Okay. I need you to sauce me. Not good. Oh my! Dim, dim, dim sum station. Chase is grabbing a plate. This is getting a. There is red bean bun. Uh, manto. Okay. Stuff goes fast. Japanese shumai. Get two of those. Or is this a Japanese shumai? Yeah, Japanese shumai. Is this a pork shumai? Japanese. Ah, Japanese seafood. Very good, very good. Oh my. Muscles, 100%. Where? Oh, right there? Yeah. yeah. My goodness, everything's just everywhere. I think we're coming up to the seafood on the next round too, so leave a little space. I see some shrimps. Oh, cheese, please. Yeah, we're coming. Up. Well, they're not just gonna have tempura shrimp, right? Wow, what is, we need some of this. <laughs> Throw it on the meat platter. I can't believe. We need that. How extensive this buffet is, you guys. Oh my gosh. Get some of that. This one? Sure. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, look, and we got some more shrimps. Yeah. Yeah. Usually these are like okay for me. Yeah, let's just get one or two of those. But they have the options there. You can suck the shrimp heads, everyone. I can take one of the plates from you. That might be nice. That looks real good. So we got sweet and sour pork and three cups chicken here, guys. You know what we almost need to do? What? Drop the plates off and come back. No, no, I can hold one plate yeah. if you want to fill one more. Okay. All right. Strategizing. Park Quinty out. Oh. Oh, that's very good. And we got satay with pork. I'm like a kid in a candy shop. Mm -hmm. and all these chefs, they're just like chefing it up back there. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Thank oh, thank you. <laughs> We're so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Those beans look good. Can you throw some of these egg? Uh, what is it? What is that actually? Some kind of. Looks very delicious, whatever it may be. <laughs> hey, what, what's this too? I don't know. My goodness, okay. Maybe one, one or two more things and we can start the feast. I love those, just so you know. I think we could clear, clean up shop there. Rick. Oh, Shelby, get another one. Oh, me. Another one, yeah. another one, please. Don't make me. You guys, mark my words, he's not, he's not gonna be able to do this. Yeah, but those are gonna be good. Those are gonna be so good. All right, here we go. Shelby's just filling up our last third plate here, but this is what we're starting with. We got the meat platter, and then we got all the tempura with dim sum, shumai, mussels, all that good stuff chilling right there. So I think what I'll do right away is one of these shrimp dumplings. The shrimp is so tender, sweet, and delicious. The wrapper is a little thick and chewy, but that doesn't take away from how delicious that shrimp is. All right, guys, look at this piece of lamb just glistening in the light. It's a little bit of a leaner cut of meat, but the flavor is really good. As you chew into it, it's just exploding with lamb flavor. There is a multiple uh, Vikings locations here in Manila, but I really think the one at uh, SM Mall of Asia is the best because you can like see these palm trees and you're kind of like right on the ocean we got some of these little sausages too i'm not too sure which one's which but this one's really tender sweet and it looks like it has a little piece of red chili or something in there oh man and there's like chunks of fat in there that just melt in your mouth oh my goodness hopefully shelby comes back soon just look at that there's a big layer of fat, and then you got the chunk of meat right under on the bone. I think that's the best thing I've tasted so far. Oh my goodness, wow. Got to save a little bit for Shelby, holy smokes. So I had to try it. They had roast chicken at that meat station. probably skip this one it's a little dry oh man we're full swing oh she's got juice i was thinking i was just telling them uh you were definitely right on the chicken it's a little dry yeah i'm not like i'm not the buffet chicken really what have we got here though 
Gotta try this neon. Cucumber lemonade. Mm. And a sour sauce. Okay, so I'll catch you in. I've tried a dim sum shrimp. I did one of the sausages. I tried the lamb. I did this pork. And then I went on to the chicken. That's what we've done so far. What did you think of everything? I want the, I'm like, give me some. Try that pork. That was one of my favorites. Okay. Looks cool. I'm so excited. Ooh, that cucumber. That is nice and sweet. Oh, that's some good juice. Oh, I know. I know. Mm. Here, I'll get that little crispy off. That's a nice piece of shoe, my there, guys. That's amazing. Mm hmm. You have to try uh, the dim sum after, too. Mm. So, that. Usually we're used to the pork shoe mine. This That's is a seafood. This is a Japanese seafood and it's yep. to die for. That's it's really super cool. tender. Wrapped in seaweed. Mm. We've done a little bit of a switch up because the lighting was a little little dark the other way. So yeah. I'm going in on this beef now. You got the beef? Can you cut me off a slice too? Yeah. Oh man. I tried the lamb. It's a little um kind of it doesn't have enough fat i think it has a really good lamb flavor but it's yeah. a little too we might have just got a different piece too like maybe because you know lamb has different different fattiness levels i think it's hard to use a fork i'm just like here you go guys look at that all the beef the beef's the winner mm. Mm, your double rice though <laughs> The yeah. Dover rice. I haven't tried that yet. The lechon was in oh, the Adobe. I rice. haven't. I haven't tried the lechon. Big old bite coming in. It was so good. <laughs> the mixture with that adobo rice. Is that even a joke? That was a killer. Oh, that is the best thing at the meat station. I would say hands so. Hands down. But you know, Philippines is known for the lechon. So, oh. well. We got this cute little bun. Do you want to share it with me? I don't know. <laughs> what was this again? It's kind of the the wrapper is a little. It feels like you kind of got this one from 7-Eleven almost. What what is this? Nothing in it. Little Nothing bit. in it. I'll just put in some tempura sauce and let you guys know. I should take. I think I'm gonna take this off. This is gonna get real messy real quick. Mm -hmm. I got me a little shrimp dumpling here. I don't know. I don't know what this is. It's uh. Mm -hmm. Nice little bun, I guess. I'm gonna use my fingers. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Those are dynamite. Mm -hmm. I'm like super happy you got that extra one. I don't even honestly know how we're gonna reach like part of this buffet. No, no. It's, it's hard. It's so huge. Like, I don't even. A little sweet and sour chicken. Did you try one of those sausage things? Yeah. No, you didn't. I think I only got one of the like spicy one. It's not very good. It's different than this one. It's oh, the really? second one you told me to pick, and I got it, and it's not good. Oh, that one's good. Okay. I was like sitting there going through the sausages, being like, I don't know which ones are which, because they're all piled together. But no, I got the nasty one. Okay, let's go for a nice onion tempura. So the tempura is not super. It's not crispy. Crusty. So it, it's delicious, we'll but see. it's not. It's not like super. Uh, they need to be cooked longer, I think. It's a little like yeah. Mm -hmm. Like it's a uh, it's it's decent flavor. Yeah. I like the flavor. Yeah, like it's it's. I I, I would say like a six and a half though because like when you get in tempura and it's not crispy but you know we're at a buffet so. I think the flavor's really good though. Yeah. Got to try that chicken. I know. So this is this little piece of chicken, the sweet and sour chicken the from chicken. the from the Chinese section, is real good. Uh, four pieces of chicken, and I only got one. What? I've only had one. Then maybe I got three. <laughs> like I was saying when we were going up there, I know we're at a buffet, and Shelby's trying to be what do you call it, conservative. Yeah, because there's there's so we didn't even check out the dessert table. It's 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 extensive over there. I got some, so you can get like fettuccine. I don't think we touched the Western side, but you can get fettuccine. I got one nacho. I got one cheese nacho. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know when we're a couple why she's getting one of things, guys. A little funny now. I didn't think you'd want a cheese nacho. Well, this is freaking delicious, that cheese sauce, guys. That queso is dynamite. But with the pasta for the fettuccine, you can literally get 
poppers. And you can put pork belly, bacon, mussels. So I got pork belly to put on my fettuccine. Oh my goodness. Right, you try that, I'll try a bean. Yeah, same. Mm. <laughs> the fettuccine is it's so good. How good is it? It's real good. <laughs> should, I, should I give you a good old? Why not? Look at that. Mm. Try to get it on your face. That's that's amazing. The creaminess of that. Uh huh. It's kind of weird because it feels light, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but then it tastes creamy. Like it's not sitting there. It's not there just... super, super heavy, yeah. but it tastes like really good flavor. Yeah. It's kind of weirding me out because of how good it is, but light. I want some more of this cucumber drink because that was delicious. I don't even know what to say right now. Me either. The quality has been really, really good. Need to eat another one of these little dim sums. Oh. Even the char kway teow, that's a uh, Malaysia, Malaysia. Mm -hmm. Dynamite. Yeah, they have a lot of international dishes here. When we were walking through there, there's Indian dishes, there's Japanese, Chinese, all these different kinds of dishes. Mm -hmm. What's that thing? So this, we'll split this one. <laughs> Getting one thing again, guys, too. <laughs> what is it? Ah. Taste Chinese again. Not as good as the sweet and sour chicken. Interesting. It almost felt like fat melting into my mouth. Like, with sweetness. Yeah, it's like, I think it's like pork. It's like deep fried pork. Okay. Got the curry lax and mussels. Very salty. Is it? Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. I feel like you would have to have like rice with that or something. Whoa. Real salty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy crap. I got a little bit of sushi with you. I couldn't help it. I love the sushi. See? What sushi did you get? Dude. What is it? I don't know. It's amazing. <laughs> hey, let's get some wasabi on that board. Oh, yeah, I got wasabi, duh. <laughs> uh, let's see if it's strong. Yeah, we got it. Gotta test out the wasabi level. Oh, it's decent. Decent? Yep. Oh yeah. Decent. I just find it always funny that wasabi isn't actually wasabi and it's all just mostly just horseradish. <laughs> we should all just start calling it horseradish. Now let's all have it. The wasabi's good, but yes, that last sushi roll I spit that was, one. was not the best. <laughs> I don't like that. See, here's my thing. If I don't like something and it goes in my mouth, I'm not one of those people that will continue to eat it if I'm at a buffet. It's going to go out of my mouth. I'm not going to eat it because i got to save room for things that I actually want. I really like the tempura though. I know it's not cooked long enough, but the batter is super good. Oh, here's that fish cheesy. Oh. The fish though, I don't I'm not a huge fish. It is good fish. It's almost to the point where you can't even tell it's fish. <laughs> it's kind of deceiving. Oh. It's wow. That's amazing. Oh, that's, that's, that's better than the tempura. <laughs> wow. And the tempura sauce is really good. It's nice and sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm having a real hard time not eating that last dim sum, girl. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go, ahead. Go for it. Oh, oh guys. Oh, I should try the lamb. Mm. Which yeah, one is the lamb? You should try the lamb. It's the more light, co light colored. Oh, okay. And it's, uh, like I said, yeah, cut it into a small piece like that. Because I took a big chunk of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. As you chew it, the flavors start building. You know what? The thing about this, this is a lamb slice. We like lamb shanks with a fatty shank. Yeah. It's it a... still has really good flavor. It tastes like lamb. Yeah. My problem when I eat lamb is it doesn't have that, it just tastes like meat. Some, some are really mild. Give me that lamb flavor, you know what I mean? Yeah, you really have to chew into it to get the lamb flavor and, and it's, it's lacking the fattiness. Yeah. That adobo rice. Seriously, the lechon with the adobo rice is absolutely dynamite. I feel like this buffet is already even worth it to me, and we haven't even touched the surface. I'm almost like ready to call it quit soon and, and re up. I think you tried everything. 
You know what? I think you should go re up, yeah. So between these two drinks, I don't know what the yellow one is. I didn't try that yet. I think the green is much better. This is sour sauce. Sour sauce? You told me this one was the best. Yeah, it might have a little bit too much sugar for Shelby, possibly. Mm, it's on the verge. It's on the verge. It's very sweet, but delicious. And you get like, you can taste the cucumber in it surprisingly it's with so how much sugar. I like so many sweet things, but juice is one of those things where you know if it's like too sweet or not for me. There's Wait. coffee and stuff too though, you could definitely come up. What are you talking about? There's coffee if you want. Coffee is at the coffee? coffee is at the last thing of this meal. Like that'll be dessert. I'll be back, guys. That'll be dessert after dessert. I'll be back. <laughs> I noticed we forgot to talk about the shrimps. So let's give those a whirl. Just a little bit of deconstruction needed before eating. Let me know down below how many of you guys eat the shrimp shells. I hear you can do that, but tried a few times and it just doesn't feel like they break down when you eat them. All right. They're pretty juicy, but it's like a mix of 50-50 tender and chewy. They kind of have a little bit of chew to them. I don't think I would get them again. And right at the end there, it kind of had a little bit of a fishiness kind of flavor. Looks like the drink station here. Wow. Good morning. Look, you can get beer, I feel like. Hello. Do you get beer here? Yes, sir. Oh, wow. Okay. Best quality. You know what? Got to try one of those when in Rome. Shelby didn't tell me that when she got the drinks. And they got fresh fruit over here. Some puddings. Hello, how are you? Everything looks so good. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Yeah. Are you back there? We're back there. You, know, you failed to mention there's beer here. I didn't know there was beer. <laughs> okay, let, can get are we back? Yeah. Okay, let's go back and feast a little bit. I was just showing them this section. Okay, guys, I got another plate. I got a pork empanada. I went a little bit more carby this time. An empanada, a little quesadilla. Um, oh, this is lump looking good. Deep fried lump lumpia. <laughs> more sweet and sour chicken. Uh, pancit, obviously. How to get pancit. This little thing, I don't know what it is. Like a meatball, maybe? Um, some kind of Moroccan chicken, two kinds of paella, and then a couple of these little, like, little <laughs> roll thingies. Like, I just wanted to get stuff that looked kind of, like, different. And diff different kinds of, like, that's like a chicken carpaccio or something. Beer. Is there anything else other than beer? Well, you were at the drink station. There's all these little juices and stuff. You can get beer for free. Yeah, you just grab it. It's in like a little thing. I I had to ask the guy. I'm like, is the beer extra? But like, literally for what it was at 900 and whatever pesos, you get alcohol included. I'm shook. It. I'm shook. It. You know what's like so funny is because like we we've been around the buffet. Well, I've been around at least three times. There's still stuff on people's plates. And I'm like, where do they get that? Like you yeah, I know. never. You'll never try it. It's endless. It's endless. I don't know what it was, but I was fantasizing about damn desserts when you're up there getting this thing. I almost wanted to do this. <laughs> we could always like grab a couple desserts and if we feel like eating more after. We could do whatever we want. Okay, so you're trying the nudes? Oh my god. You're making it look real delicious. This is literally the best buffet I've ever been to. Ever. Best pans that I've ever had. Yeah, that's that's very that good. That is it's like sweet. Oh I see you it's got oily. some more of that orange chicken too. I love the orange. That, yeah, that was one of my favorites. It's I think. real delicious. The pans are Oh. That, that's dynamite for sure. I don't think I've tasted one like really that good too. Normally when we were in the Philippines last time, I kind of was on the cheaper train of pansits. If this is what a luxury pansit is, wow. <laughs> Here, let's say. Uh, wow, these look just so cute and quaint. It almost looks like it has like it's a- It's a taquito. It's a taquito? It's a pork taquito. And it looks like it has like almost like a little egg looking thing. Like how they've decorated that. It's like a y egg colors. With... You ready? Cheers. Mm hmm There's an interesting sauce inside. Mm. What is that, mm -hmm. mayonnaise? Maybe it's tuna. Maybe I read the sign wrong. It's on there. <clears throat> That's tuna. <laughs> nope. Um, I don't love that one. If you like tuna, it's like a, it's like a deep fried tuna, like a picture of a tuna sandwich and a deep fried roll. Yep. Right? Yeah, it's one of my least favorite sandwiches. So I got one of these guys because 
for Christmas time, when Chase and I were in Christmas in Canada, we had one of these that looked like it had like cranberry sauce and it was like a cream cheese roll. And I'm really hoping that that's kind of what this is. Is, is it not one of these? It's different. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh man. That's like sweet, cream cheesy. So mm -hmm. good. It has like um, that cherry, cherry tartness that you get in like a cherry tart. I'm scared. Of, I'm scared to I'll try. We need to like uh, split these in half so I can enjoy them with you. I get to watch your face every single time. Okay, maybe I'll avoid this one. <laughs> and this happens by me. As I was saying that, I just avoided a doozy. <laughs> Ew. At least we I got. Like that. At least we got two of these ones. That tasted like liver beef or something. Like what's in there? It's like a meat roll, but then it has like a chili sauce almost looking with that it looks, mayonnaise. It has like a coating. Yeah, it looks like ham, maybe cheese. Mm -hmm. Those are some interesting rolls. I don't know about the rolls, guys. Straight up. Um, yeah, I would say stick with that little cranberry one if they have that. That's still yeah. But they have like a million little rolls. They have so many. Yeah, it's, it's just scary to go in there because like mm -hmm. the amount of flops that we just had in the roll section. This guy has been having me curious. Please don't be fish. Please don't be fish. Looks like a meatball. Do it. Oh. <laughs> Is that a pork ball? I don't know. I wish I could tell you guys what this is, but it's a hundred percent in a language I do not understand. I don't know if I've ever had paella before, do you? Hmm? I don't know. Spanish paella? Oh, maybe in Mexico. Oh. All right, this meatball thing that Shelby just had. It's like tomato rice. It's okay. Ah. Mm. The Indian paella is good. Well, that, that's juicy. That's tender. Which one? Oh, the meatball, yeah. The meatball. Yeah. It's definitely, it's like a pork meatball, I think. Oh, yeah. And I got this, like, chicken cut cacciatore, or cut, cut, cut. <laughs> I don't know, it's chicken. <laughs> bon appetit. Mm, this tender. one, mm -hmm. you found tender chicken? Mm -hmm. I had to hide the other chicken in our plates over there, guys, because I could not do it. So far, what's standing out to me, the orange chicken, the oh, yeah. pans it, the al fettuccine alfredo, the beef, the pork, Mm -hmm. Lechon adobo. Yeah. Pans it? The, yeah, I said pans it. Okay. Yeah. And this is like Moroccan. I got, I think there's another piece here Moroccan chicken. I don't know if we've ever had Moroccan either. Mm. Wow, we. Yeah. Mm. You get that couple plates down feels, guys. Gotta shake the leg. <laughs> yeah. Bones. But it's very tender. Do you fry spring roll with your thing? Mm. Really that. Mm -hmm. I got a bunch of bones in my mouth. That's good. Okay. That is uh, deep fried lumpia? I think so. Or like a spring roll. You know, it was spelled like deep fried. It was spelled like lumpia. Yes. Wow. That's good. Fried rice. Fried rice. <laughs> that really has uh, the spring roll flavors that I'm used to. It kind of has like the bean sprouts and then you get the celery and all the, the seasonings with it. I don't know why I got it tasted. I don't know. Oh. Feels good? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Mm. The cheese quality is good. Mm. That's that's really yummy. I didn't There's get... cheese in there. It's yeah. a oh, it's quesadilla. Okay, yeah. oh, I'm good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try the empanada. You're, You're the quesadilla girl. Rip it open up close. See that? See that, baby? Da -na -na -na. Oh yeah. Mm. I can see peas flying out. Mm. Which side do you want? The vegetable side. There's a very nice pea side. That doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Ooh -wee. It looks a bit dry, so I have not high hopes, but we'll see. Oh. It's really sweet. It's a bit dry and sweet. Huh. Was there a sauce near this empanada? Honestly, probably. There's like 50 million sauces you've got there. I feel like it's missing something. But I don't... Oh, because empanadas... People told us last time 
When we went to the Salcedo market, we ate an empanada. We didn't put on the vinegar. And they're like, yeah, come on, the vinegar. They're called the vinegar. It needs the vinegar, guys. But like Shelby said, with the sweetness, if you had vinegar, it would balance it out. It would be so good with the vinegar. You no, know I think we should do. Oh. I think we should go up together and either get one like plate that we both are like, okay, this is what we want for our last plate, or we should go for the desserts and then if we want food after. I want desserts. Okay, so we'll do that. And if we feel like food after I, desserts. I need then. a switch up. What are we at now? We're at four plates, guys. So two each. I'm pretty impressed. Like, honestly, here's the thing. You're gonna go to a buffet and every single person is gonna have different flavors. Yep. That buffet, even if you didn't like I think it checks all the boxes. Well, even if you didn't like a lot of your food, you'd still like probably like at least 50% of it. And that's still worth it. Like for the price that you pay for a huge luxury buffet. I have a side note too. If you have children under three feet tall, they get in for free. So if you have a bunch of young ones, I tell you what, one adult brings the young ones over here. It's a good deal. <laughs> The so, fried rice um, has really good flavor. Like it's just generic, but it has really good like wake. Yeah, you want some more of those beans, or was that in the in the pan thing? It was in the pan oh, I didn't okay. try the beans. Yeah, they were pretty good. I was talking they to had, my mom. They had a mild, um, what was it a mild spice and with sweetness? I was talking to my mom the other night, and um, I told her that we weren't eating a lot of vegetables. Like we were just eating like a lot of barbecue. She's like, Shelby, you have to eat a vegetable a day. So I told her that I would eat a vegetable today and I don't even think that I've had one. <laughs> eat, eat, there's a carrot or something. Wait, here you go. This is for you. <laughs> I'll send her this clip. Oh, yeah. Is it good? Yeah, they are, they are very good. But kind of when you're eating street food or going to markets and stuff, it's very meat forward with rice or something here in the Philippines. And uh, sometimes you can get a fruit too, but yeah, you really got to like search for vegetables. Yeah. Okay, should we do dessert? Yeah, let's go. My favorite part. All right, guys, I think everyone else is kind of having the same idea because it looks a little busy here at the dessert station now. Ooh -wee. You know what I will say, though? Yeah. I can tell when a dessert looks a little bit like fluffy and not super like rich and dense, and these look more on the fluffy side. Okay. There's chocolate fondue, so maybe we should get some teeth and some of those. I wonder how we dip these, uh, what's in there? I don't know. Is there like a bowl or do you just like... Do we just use our... I think so. No, I don't want those. Oh. I want I want these and those. But I'm not sure how you chocolate them. Like, there should be like a poker stick or something. Good thing there's a lady right beside you. You can ask her. Yeah. You can use, your, you can use this spoon. How do you this dip spoon? it? Or With this spoon? With the spoon? That's what it's oh, okay. oh. oh. okay. Oh, man. Hey, how about this, guys? How about this? Let's uh, take one of the marshmallow things. Take the stick from the marshmallow. We're just we're just gonna take one of these mar. Or what watermelons at least. That's disgusting. Are you ready? Da 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 da. Oh, that's so satisfying. There we go. That's cool. All right. Perfect. Oh, that is so satisfying. And they just refilled the donuts. Which one would you like? Uh, maybe, maybe one of these? Yeah, get it. That looks smaller. A bigger one? Yeah. Guess we shouldn't get too, too crazy here. Um, Dark Revel Bars. Yeah. Looks kind of interesting. All right. Oh, my God, this, okay. oh look at these cupcakes. I know. Oh, I was just cupcakes. showing this section. Oh. What? What is it? It's just uh, liquid? Oh, it might be meringue. Oh, it's uh, sideways. Wow, wait. And they got they got actual cupcakes over here. <laughs> I don't know. Woo. Okay, so shall we do this and then ice cream? Yeah, sure. Wait, wait, let's go see if there's anything else. Well, it's ice cream over here. And fruit. Okay, we got cassava pudding, babinka. Oh my. All right, guys, in Shelby fashion, the dessert queen, I'm gonna sit on the sidelines and let her lead the way. Take a bite of everything. <laughs> <laughs> Look, so we got, that's our first plate. 
Town Parada looks a little bit dodgy. It's, they didn't have a bowl, so. <laughs> so this is not a cupcake, which I thought it was. I'm a little bit disappointed. I literally hate meringue. So. Yeah, there's sugar meringue. Oh, my bad. Pudding. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. It's like a spiced pudding cake with like cinnamon, warm flavors. Now I want to try the chocolate lotto. Yeah. Okay, there's like teeth, like little, little candy, candy monster. <laughs> All right, this looks so chocolatey. You know what? I can try that chocolate uh, teeth there. I wonder if the chocolate's good. The chocolate is actually not. Oh, the chocolate's good. I don't know if it was the best idea to put that in there. Mm. I think I got in a Thailand market chocolate candies. That's where I got the idea, but not a not a win this time. Oh my god! Just the marshmallow though. Mm -hmm. The chocolate's bomb. Oh. The chocolate is bomb. The champurado. It's pretty. Here, let me just try a little bit of this, and you can see the difference between the champurado and the chocolate fountain. Way different. It's watery and not good. What have they done there? What is that? Like, is that like it? Rice Krispies or rice? Rice. Camperado. It's like a I forget. Breakfast. I'm just sitting behind the camera having my adult beverage, guys. Got Donut? Donut. that guy. Oh, boy. Mm. Mm hmm Took me a minute. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. The donut, if it was hot and fresh, would be like incredible. But because it's been sitting for a little bit, like it's obviously it's you know not hot and fresh, but still because it's been sitting, 10 out of 10. It's got like a white chocolate coating. It's super like a little bit salty sweet. So this almost looks like cheesecake to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. It's basically like a cheesecake bar with a really buttery, flaky bottom, like crusty. That's amazing. I'm trying to speed through this because there's so many desserts I have to try. <laughs> what was this one? I forget. It's not babinka. I don't know. Shit, I forgot. Uh oh. Mmm. Mmm. No. <laughs> That's a mess. It almost seems like a rice cake or something, but it's not not very flavorful. I don't like that one. Now we got babinka. Oh yeah. Babinka. Mm. It's like rice on the bottom, sweet rice. And the top is like almost tastes like a browned coconut sugar or something. Wow. I can just see the top. <laughs> Another one, we got a chocolate cookie. It's hard, not that sweet, not much flavor. Pass on that. And I don't know what this is, like a chocolate mousse with like a crumble on the bottom, like a cake. Yeah. So, I've noticed a lot of the, the desserts in Asia, the cakes are very light and fluffy and the whipped cream is very like artificial almost. Like I don't know how they make it, but I don't like the whipped cream in Asia usually. And this kind of is probably like the same thing, this little cup. Let's see. Yeah, it's the same kind of whipped cream. I don't know what... Let me know how that's made. If you know, like if you work in the restaurant industry in Asia, I, I find it's quite common unless you go to like an extensive cafe with like, you know, I'm not, I don't want to say good desserts, but like really, really high quality. I think it's meant to be some kind of like crust with caramel. I'm not crazy about... I'm not crazy about the cakey whipped cream, but I knew I wouldn't be. Okay, you guys, Chase and I are pretty dang full. 
Uh, but we knew we were gonna be. And I think we're gonna finish off with maybe some hollow hollow and some ice cream. Uh, and then we'll just show you guys briefly. <laughs> we'll show you guys uh, briefly the stations we didn't show you. This is the salad bar. If anybody's interested in some salad. We were not. <laughs> See, there's just stuff that I haven't even seen, like soup. We we did not touch the breads. Look at all these breads, you guys. Like cinnamon buns, banana bread, sapasha bread. Like we didn't touch any of that. There's like um, different dips, peanut butters, cold, cold meats. It's yeah. just like, like little sandwiches. We didn't touch any sandwiches. <laughs> and there's the vinegars here. You can also pick meats. Like we said earlier, you can pick meats and have them grilled. We didn't do that. And this is kind of the Western station. That looks amazing. Wow. Yes. Hi, thank you. It's very good. <laughs> thank you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the fettuccine. Yeah, a huge buffet. So now, I love. You know what I loved? I love that chocolate fountain. I may need to go back on that chocolate fountain. Okay, so I'm gonna make hollow hollow. We've never made our own hollow hollow before. Okay, should you? Yeah, you can go for some. <laughs> Well, you get some beans. Okay. Uh, we always have the jelly. Yeah, the jellies. And uh, we need a few more beans. No, okay, not too many beans, not too many beans. <laughs> Hollow Hollow has beans. We get to make our own, though. We don't have to put so many beans in it. Okay, and then some of these things. Those are good, yeah. The white, white things. You need green jelly. And uh, white things. It feels like that purple That's... should go on top. Yeah. It does, yeah. Okay. Ah, perfect. So the ice is just right in there and you just scoop it in. Wow. Yeah, mix, mix. That's are you, what are you enjoying the buffet you like? It's good, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. It's honestly, we've never had a, a this good a buffet. It's a bit incredible. It's amazing, yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we'll put what she's getting on top. Hi. <laughs> good, good buffet, right? Uh, is it your first time here? No. Oh, many times. It's our first time. Oh, it's been amazing. Okay. It's all the ice cream sticking out sauce. Or Yummy. So, what is this one? This is from the company. Wrap your ice cream. Wrap your roll to bubble gum. Okay, can I get um? I'm gonna can I get Rocky Road. And chocolate and ubi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. We have to get the ubi. Yum. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Um, I'm gonna get a little bit of car caramel. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. Here we are, back once again with the ill behavior. Okay. I almost don't even want to put it in there. We should have got more. With my that face, I need to taste. Oh that. my god, it's so good. Ubi. That's amazing. Mm. That's what dreams are made of. If that ubi came up to me with a wedding ring, I would marry it on the spot. Me too. <laughs> Rough. Now mix this girl up. Wow. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully we made this okay. I think it needed a little bit more ice. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> first, first uh, um, hollow hollow we've ever made in our life. I have to say, though, I'm pretty hollow hollow picky. I'm not like a love every hollow hollow type of gal. I think I've only liked one, and it was at the Salcedo Market. Other than that, they're just too icy for me. Like. I made this specially for her, and she's talking like that. You know what? I think it's going to be good, but I tasted the milk, and it's not that sweet, so I don't have high hopes. It's okay. Like, it's okay. It's just a bit too, like, icy, milky, and, and fruity for me. And, like, I'm much more of a caramel, chocolate, like, as you guys can tell, like, coffee, chocolate, caramel, toffee, that kind of thing. Oh my goodness, coffee. I almost forgot. What? Oh yeah, coffee. <laughs> it needs like a pinch of salt, I think. Let me try. Try it. 
try it. All right, here we go for a little bite. I just love how epic it is, like the palm trees just fluttering in the wind in the background here. All right, so that lady said these orange things, I couldn't get the name, are dynamite, so. Woo! That's a lot of sweetness. A lot of sweetness. Holy. Too sweet, really? All the orange things? Wow. <laughs> Was it maybe a peach or something, but maybe in like a syrup? Wow. It's not bad, but it's really liquidy. And Shelby's over here doing the ice creams. The ice cream's really good. It's really good. With the caramel. Mm. Oh, the chocolate. And then Rocky Road had like little marshmallows in it. No oh, baby's good. If you get this. Some of this. Oh boy. Oh boy, you're crazy. Oh, it's like double chocolate. I love it. A cheero. Oh. Those weren't there before. No. I had the jackpot with that. There's you, only two left. You kind of have to do the loops and hope that they restock stuff. Oh my god. Um, no words. I've been thoroughly impressed with this buffet. All right, coming back to you. Yeah, that fountain chocolate. So chocolate. It's pretty darn good. What do you rate this buffet? I don't think I can give it anything other than a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 for me. Like, obviously, in a buffet, not everything's going to be a winner. No, but, like, gonna be a winner. But, like, but, like, when you go through and, like, at least 50% of the stuff is, like, banging and, like, the value, it's just, it's such an affordable buffet. And, um,. Hopefully you guys don't take our like critiquing things being like, oh, we didn't really like this seriously. Because <laughs> we want to give you our honest feedback. Yeah. And if you don't want to hear honest feedback and you want us to sugarcoat everything, it's not the channel. We're gonna be honest and be like, okay, we love this, we didn't love this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna yeah. be authentic about it or else you won't know if you want to come here. You will want to come here. <laughs> hundred percent come here. And uh still I'm still kind of confused and not knowing like are they they say it's included. I, I don't know if randomly I might have to pay for this beer. We'll I feel like that. We'll, we'll tell you that at the end. I feel like because, the, server, the server would keep no. Yeah, I, I don't know. Because like I saw water over there, which was 25 pesos. Yeah. So I'm a little confused, but I asked if it was included. He said yes. So to be determined. So you can tell we're kind of coming to a close because I got a coffee now, which comes out of a machine. There's two machines here. One of them has a latte and one of them has a cappuccino. I went for the cappuccino one. So let's give it a little whirl. A little uh, coffee from a machine. Still scolding hot. <laughs> it's like a machine coffee. That's what it is. It doesn't have a bold flavor or anything. And I saw it kind of like mixed water, milk, and like a coffee mixture. So I think it's a little too watered down for my liking, but still happy to have a coffee. Shelby went back for some more ice cream over there. I had to turn the pistachio. view. <laughs> and the salted caramel. Look at that view. I know. We haven't paid much attention to it because most of our attention was on our food, but now that Chase is having his I, coffee. I think I've discussed it twice with the camera. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, it actually is a really nice view. And um, yeah, it was a good, a good little spot. And they turned on the music for us, so that was super nice. And yeah. Everybody said hi on the buffet, so they made us feel really welcome. Sometimes it's a little bit weird filming in a place like this, but no, everyone was great. Oh yeah, I want to add, I can figure out the coffee machine. So the little guy sweeping the floors, he, he's like, I, I thought he said double press, but it was a long press. So he came up and helped me with the coffee machine. So yeah, all the staff has been so nice. Like honestly, so nice. Like I felt, I felt really good here. I would hundred percent support these guys again. I would, I would come here again in a heartbeat. Like. I'm feeling pretty full right now. Like we could 
We could probably do one more play if we really wanted to, but I just, it's just not worth it. No. We, we, back in the day, we probably would have done like easily like two or three plates each. We have the bill here and it's looking like with taxes and fees, 2064 for both of us. And that little guy's not on it. Not gonna tell you that it's free or anything, but uh, it was for me today. And it's on the table and she gave us our bill. So. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so, but if you're looking for all taxes and fees, it's like 1,000 and something pesos. 1,000-ish. Wow. Cool. And you know what? Like, a lot of people talk about the spiral buffet. Yeah. But I think I looked at the prices and it was like, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it was like 5,000. And I'm like, I couldn't even imagine. But they got, they got lobster on Sundays, I think. Yeah, but honestly, I just don't, I still don't think it's worth the price. I would go just for lobster. Okay, maybe just for the lobster. <laughs> but I still think this buffet was like... I can't complain, honestly, it was so good. No, like, look at me. Oh. <laughs> I'm a mess, I should not have worn this. <laughs> but if you're going just for like buffet experience, I feel like this one's perfect. But if you're just going for all you can eat lobster, maybe the spiral, I guess. I don't know. Maybe to, we'll I'll tell you some other day, some other Filipino adventure, maybe we'll get to go to the spiral. Yeah. No, I'm full, I'm happy, this was good. Staff is amazing, food is great. 10 out of 10 experience, highly recommend if you're in Manila to come here. So the really nice guy behind me, just let me know there's a birthday parade. Do, do they do this every time there's a birthday? Yes, yes. In the lunch time, 1 p.m. In the dinner, 7 p.m. Oh, okay, so it's one, one today. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. How long is it? How many? We're I mean, have been two, three to five minutes. Okay, fine. Okay, thank you. around and not dance, yeah. <laughs> I've had a blast here. Woo! Oh, but that was amazing, guys. So much fun. Uh, definitely tune into the next Filipino videos because we have a whole big series coming out. Mm -hmm. We already have many videos that you've already <laughs> probably seen. If you haven't, check them mm -hmm. out. And uh, yeah, that was amazing. I'm stuck, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace Bye. out!